And I wanted to come at you real quick and show you what I used for my deep conditioner. So here I have olive oil. I used about uh, a fourth of a cup. Actually, this time I used only a tablespoon. Make sure your olive oil says cold press. It's just better for you um, as far as eating and for your hair. I use a tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of the Tresemme Silicone Free Conditioner, two tablespoons of the Aubrey's Honeysuckle Rose, and I use two packages of the olive oil. The reason why I only use tablespoons of this is because of the two packages of the Organic Root Simulator. I put everything in this plastic bag. Normally I will cut a corner here and apply in the shower, but I think I'm going to try to use it in this dispenser and apply in the shower. I'll come back at you guys once I'm done conditioning my hair. Hey you guys, so I'm back after I actually had the deep conditioner in my hair for an hour and a half because I had some errands I had to run. So, <coughs> so anyway, sorry. Um, I washed out, rinsed out the deep conditioner and I have my hair in different parts section off. So what I'm going to do is I'm preparing to my hair for uh, a wig. I'm going to be wearing a wig for the next week and a half. And what I do is I flat twist my hair going towards the back and I use these long bobby pins that I got from the dollar, the dollar Tree. These very long bobby pins to pin down my hair because it just won't stay down even after flat twisting it. And I make sure my ends are also tucked in for protection. Um, during the winter time, I like to wear wigs a lot more because of the cold weather, and it's just to add, you know, it's a protective style. So what I'm going to be using in order to flat twist my hair is Not Today by Kinky Curly, my Kim A Tubes Leave-In Conditioner. <coughs> I'll put it in this, and then I'm going to be sealing my hair with coconut oil. Now, yeah, I did put this in a microwave. Um, I used the organic coconut oil. I purchased this off Amazon. Because it's cooler weather, it, of course, solidifies. So I did put it in the microwave, but obviously it went back to its natural form. So I already sectioned off my hair, so I'll show you guys how I flat twist my hair. So I will probably have about six or eight flat twists going towards the back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I already detangled in the shower. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Kimmy tubes. We'll leave them. Just that much. I'm gonna wreck that through. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the, if it'll ever come out, but not today. And just comb that through. Okay, now I'm going to start flat twisting. Now, I don't know how to flat twist that well, so excuse this. <laughs> I'm not doing the two strand. <clears throat> so then what I do is I twist this section. And what I do is I take a bobby pin. And I secure it. And I'll take another bobby pin. <clears throat> and I'll secure it right here. So I'll come back at you guys once I'm done with um, 
flat twist in all my hair. And what I'll do is I'm not going to leave any of my hair out because I am going to be wearing um, full wigs. Actually, I'm going to be wearing a half wig. But the way I'm going to situate my hair, I'm going to put the half wig obviously here so I can just wear a headband for the week or so. So I will show you guys what it looks like once I'm done. Okay. So that is it. That took me, I don't know, no time. So the bag probably looks a hot mess but um I'll show you guys the back real quick so this is the back everything's pinned up and so like I said before I have um the front just out like this and what I'm doing is I'm kind of making this to where it doesn't look like there's parts so I probably will put a full wig on and <clears throat> see if I have a wig cap under here. I got everything but a wig cap. Yeah, I have one. So what I'll do is, it's my wig cap. Sometimes the bobby pins will go through, but that's okay. Put that on and that's it. That's how I prep my hair for a wig. Now, I do not put this wig cap on, put a wig on, and don't look at my hair. That is very... Um, that's very bad for your hair, actually, because although I did put a lot of moisturizer in your hair, your hair does lose moisture throughout the day. So what I do is I take the wig cap off every two or three days. I check my hair, check the scab. And what I'll do is I'll use my jar here. This is like a ketchup mustard jar I got from the dollar store. And there's a little bit of oil in here. Jojoba oil, castor oil, and... I think that's it. So what I'll do is I'll check it every two, th two or three days, take the cap off, put it through a little bit, rub it. I may take some of the Jane Carter Revitalize and Leave-In, spray it. Also, I'll spray with water. That's every two to three days. I'm only going to do this for a week and a half. I never try to do two weeks because I like to wash my hair at least, if not every week, at least every two weeks. So that is it. I have at least 20 or 30 wigs. Not a lot compared to some other people, but enough for me. So that is it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Bye.